Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Vampire Lord. And we are kicking butt. We are up to 113 on our killing spree. Um, there is a couple of locations. Actually, one in particular, Falder's Tooth. It's another fort. It's just east of here. This is a great location to rack up a lot of kills. Especially because, unlike Treva's Watch, that location, there is no area inside where more than two or three bandits can band up, like, can, like, group maul you at once. So it's a really easy location to rack up a lot of kills. It's only outside where you have to face off with a bandit chief. It might get a little hairy. Um, but yeah, otherwise, great location to rack up a lot of kills. Plus, there's Redwater Den right about here to the north. Um, we have to discover that later on anyways to do a special op for Lord Harkin. Um, let's go do that. First, um, there's a couple of easy Nern roots right here. There's one right there. There we go, just across the road from, or, or across the river from Travis Watch. And then another one over here. Done and done. Next. Let's get our Vampire Lord on. What is happening? Everything's ready to go. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's do this. Could be some good hunting on the way. Completely random. Maybe some wolves or... Uh... Okay, and always uh, corpse curse ready to go and detect all creatures ready to go. Something's over there. What's that? Is that a wolf? It's a fox. Forget it. Okay, so we can't access the map, but I have a custom marker. Head straight for that. Keep casting detect. Short for detect all creatures. Henceforth, I'm going to be refer referring to everything by some abbreviations. Vampiric grip will now be just a grip. <laughs> um, here we go. Here's some action. Vampiric Drain will just be Drain. What's that? Looks like a dead body. Oh, it's a fox. Okay. And I see something over there that looks like a, a little too much action. Looks like a guy fighting a horse. What the hell? It is. Uh, okay, I don't know what's going on over there. Eh, just leave that alone. That sounds like trouble. <laughs> And I hear a wolf barking. Where's the wolfie? There we go. There we go. Now I get some action. Yeah, had a couple kills there. Excellent. And the house icon on the compass, I believe that's Redwater Gym right there. Yep. Now, they're going to get a little upset since we're in Vampire Lord form. It's only because they're jealous. Let me just discover it. There we go, Redwater Den. I'll get this fast travel there later on. Where'd you go? Here we go. Are you tough? No, I could take you. Just a scratch, eh? Who else wants some? Oh no, you didn't. I think you want a little corpse curse. Where are you? Some of you are always asking me why I don't, like, uh, why I always fight during the day. <laughs> this is one of the reasons, because you can't see a damn thing at night sometimes in Skyrim. Uh, 
but also a lot of other people complain about my nighttime videos um they're too dark somebody recently explained to me why that is because a lot of people watch videos on mobile de mobile devices and on the tiny screens dark videos are really you know nighttime videos it's really hard to make out stuff where are you Just... there okay enough Great, okay. So this is discovered, that's all we want to do. We don't want to kill everybody there yet. Um, that fort icon just to the south, that's bound to be Falder's Tooth. Let's go there. <laughs> the wing flapping thing, I never get tired of it. You're a fox, okay. And you are a wolf. Gotcha, wolfie. Yeah, hold up here. Wait a minute. There we go. Unfortunately, his vampire sight only lasts a minute. Oh, yeah? You want to do this? I'm immune to poison. Don't bother me, none. You're gonna have to move quicker than that. Uh oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> You're moving a little too quick. Okay, hold up here, hold up here. Uh oh, here comes Daddy. Ouch. You got a lot of hit points. Um. Okay, I think it's time for a little mist for him. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> Can't touch this. Socks on the movement of the groom. Can't touch this. Okay, now. Slow your roll. Arak bitch. Uh oh, hit, hit. Get it. Come back, come back, come back. Come back. Oh, one more. And get some. Haha. <laughs> There's another one over there. There's a couple more over there. Um. Once again, these guys have deadly melee attacks, eh? So. Uh oh. That's the only thing that they can get you with. Otherwise, you're immune to their poison. This is not really a, an economical expenditure of time. No, I good see. And that's all she wrote. Yeah. Okay. Who else wants some? She keep heading towards the fort. It's just over that hill there. In fact, more like at the top of the hill. Okay, any mud crabs around here? Oh, hey, uh, hello. Oh, I just did miss for him again by mistake. Some deer hunting around here, I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Here we go. Falder's Tooth. Approaching from the north. Okay, get right up against the walls and cut down their, their angle of attack. And here we go. 
They rarely come around this side. Okay, we got a bandit outlaw. Haha, <laughs> miss me. Gotcha. Your turn. Just give it up. Just die already. There's also a bandit chief you gotta watch out. Sometimes he comes outside. Very good. Oh, hello. Vampire Lord perk available. Let me just look at the kill count for my own personal reference to see if it... Yep, 125. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Okay, um... Both branches are full. Let's work up the middle. This is pretty much the most useless perk. Let's get uh, Poison Talons. This is pretty useless too. Pretty much melee combat for the Vampire Lord, in my opinion, is made for lower difficulty settings. On Legendary, it's it's pretty much useless. You'll die in a New York minute. Okay. A couple of guys left in there. I'm pretty sure one of them is a chieftain. You can kind of uh, shimmy over the wall on this side. Right here. Just kind of jump. Jump wing. <laughs> you hear me slamming on the jump button, eh? Come on, jump wing. Don't tell me you can't jump. Did it before. Can't do it. Okay, well, we're going to have to do it the hard way. This is, this is an adept locked door. And we can't even access it because we're in the vampire lord form. Give them the dogs, boys. Here we go. A bad time to get locked, what else we got? Oh, fuck. <laughs> After all these years, I finally figured out why they say give them the dog's voice. Because they let the wolves out. Duh! I can't believe that I, like, went right over my head all these years. I thought it was like some kind of like cool Skyrim-y expression or something. Give them the dogs, boys. Alright, um... The chieftain still has yet to make an appearance. This is making me nervous. Is that you over there? I think it is. Okay, we'll deal with you later. Let's go inside. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Like I said, they rarely bunch up on you more than two or three at a time. So it's very doable. Mostly bandits, few outlaws. Some wolves and some pit wolves. Pit wolves will have about the same health as the bandit. It takes three shots of vampiric drain to take them down. Okay, uh, can't go that way yet. We're gonna have to go around counterclockwise. 
and I'll show you in the map when we're done what that means. That way, oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, run out of it. Gotcha. <laughs> I was waiting for him to run out of magic us to drop his uh This is not good. Gotcha, great. Yeah. Hey doggy. You're all caged up. I bet you're miserable in that cage, eh? Huh? I can't even activate it. It must be a, a locked cage. Huh. <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> I was gonna set you free, quote end quote. Um, don't go running off. I want to play. Here we go. Fetch the red ball. <laughs> Atta boy. And who else wants some? You want some? Get some. Oh yeah. Quit bopping around. Just take it like a man. Okay, look at a couple archers here. This could be real. Potentially dangerous. Okay, we're good. Next. Looks like I'm going to have to um, go into human form to let those guys out. All right. Came in here. Continue here. This is opened up by a switch on the other side. Are you a skiver? Come here, skiver. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna have to go to revert form to, to uh, pull this. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Did that for nothing. Oh my gosh. Hurry up. Don't kill me. You fucking bugger. I wonder if I can melee a skeever. You see this, people? Even a skeever. Melee sucks. Seriously. Seriously sucks. On legendary. Where'd he go? No, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm a skeeper. <laughs> Did I get him? Oh, bugger. There we go. Okay, detect. Got some action off to the left here. There we go. Uh oh, it's an outlaw. D don't kill me. Get paralyzed. Get uh oh.
We got another outlaw. I'm backed up. Okay, I need some elbow room here. Okay, here we go. Now we're here. Yeah, that's right. You keep coming. You keep coming. Where are you? That's enough out of you. Here they come. Um, this is unusual. They don't usually bunch up like this. Okay, how many we got? We got three. Just didn't miss for him to recover. They got me flanked. Okay. You're taking a bath. Alright, we got things under control. Who else wants some? You want some? Enough out of you. Timber. <laughs> spank your ass on the way down. That's right, spank your ass. You want some too? Yeah? Yeah. Did you drown? Don't drown on me. I want to kill you. There we go. <laughs> Ah, okay, still alive. There we go. It's time for a quick save. Okay, ingredients there. We'll get that on the way back. And the dining room. Doggy ribs for dinner. Now they didn't mean to do that. That's what I meant to do. Okay, we got some activity just around the corner here to the left. Get ready to rock and roll. Huh? That's right. Uh oh, you're an outlaw. You get a little special treatment. There we go. Down you go. And somebody just started up this really annoying power tool across the street. I don't know if the microphone can pick it up, but uh, I'm certainly hearing it. So if you hear a funny whining, buzzing sound, that's what that is. Nothing I can do about it. What was that? And things are popping and fizzing all over the place here, boss. Okay, here's the forge. That's it, we made it back to the beginning. Should be a big cache of Nord meat around here somewhere. Okay, let me just go back into human form and see if we covered the entire map. Yep. Okay, the Nord Meat cache is right there. I must have walked right by it. Um, it's the safest weapon to have on on hand, just in case there's something I forgot. Let's say the bound bow. This way. That's right.
and get some freebies here. Nice. Yay! Fuck. <laughs> uh, watch out for bear traps, I forgot, in this area. And the mammoth tusk trap, which we already triggered earlier. There's a little bit of Nord meat. Traps up ahead. Bingo. Wow. It's the Michelob Motherload. Oh boy. Yeah, it'll only take 12 beer, my dear. And I'll be yours till morning. It'll only take 12 beer, my dear. And I'll be yours. Anybody know that song? Just give me some time. And it'll all come clear. It'll only take 12 beer, my dear. And I'll be yours. Name that band. Really obscure Canadian band. I don't know if you, uh, any of my neighbors down south know that. Name it. If anybody can name it, okay, name that band without Googling it. Jeez. I'll give you an honorable mention, although I don't know how you can prove it. You're going to have to prove some somehow that you knew the name of that band without Googling it. It's a great song, though. I, I just looked it up, and it seems like it's only available on vinyl. Only ever was available on vinyl, so, yeah. Too bad. The Cook's Journal. This is sounds interesting. Okay, there's nothing really else. Uh, we we got everything. And what's our kill count up to? 146 exactly. Okay, so mission accomplished. We're out of here. Still didn't get the bandit chief. Maybe he's met. He's probably around outside somewhere. I don't really care. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck! It's only a novice lock. Um, here's a couple more kills. Okay, just in case Mr. Fumblefinger screws this up. A quick save. Then they're gonna go Vampire Lord as soon as they get the door open. You're up and at him. One down. And you're stuck in there, aren't you? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Bitch. <laughs> and there she blows. Did I get a perk point on the way? Nope. Okay. Should be getting one pretty soon. Of 
Well, yeah, there was another wolf here. I couldn't, uh, you. Because your cage is locked, too. Okay. Let's <coughs> liberate you. <laughs> oh, it's an adept lock. Uh, I don't know. Okay, nah. You're not worth it. Sorry. The door out should be right up here. Nope. This is a confusing place. Here's the door out. We should be like just one or two more kills away from the next perk. Okay, let's see if we can get a mud crab or two on the way to Ivor's Dead. What's this? Slaughter fish that won't work. Oh, here we go. Bingo, I knew it. One more, people. And then I know the a perfect place to round off our kills. It's a place called Kron, Kronvanger Cave. A couple of nerd words out here. Let's get these. Yeah, Kronvanger Cave is full of frostbite spiders, baby frostbite spiders too. So, um, yeah, real easy pickings. That's what's coming up next. And we'll finally round off all our kills. Max out all our perks. Done and done. That is it, people. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I will see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.